Welcome or welcome back on Cisco. In this video, we're going to talk about rational function, uh, domain, and a little bit of graphs of rational function. So first of all, let's see what a rational function is. And you see here, a rational function looks like a quotient between two polynomial functions, right? So yeah, we have here, for example, a rational function, first, second, third and fourth example, right? Uh, a very important thing, the domain of this rational function are all real numbers excepting the one that made the denominator is zero. So for example, if here, uh, if we make x plus one equals zero, we get x equals negative one. And we're gonna say the domain is all real number excepting one. The same story here, x plus one equals zero, we get x equals one, we're gonna make it different than negative one, I'm sorry, of the domain all real number but negative one. The same story here. The domain. And the last one is an interesting one, right? I'm gonna make the denominator, denominator equals to zero. There are no such such value for for the for this uh, quadratic that equals to zero. So the domain is any real number, a fast way to write it, or negative infinity, infinity. And you're gonna see that also in some picture. And let's take a look. So I said here, use a graph in the utility for the following rational function, compare the graph. So let's see the first graph. The first graph should not be a surprise, is a reciprocal function, right? One unit move uh, left, and we can see this vertical asymptote. We can see the domain was any linear number but negative one, that vertical asymptote. Also, you can notice the horizontal asymptote, right? What about the second one? Uh, that second one is a, a very interesting one just for a reason. Let me show you something very fast. Maybe you're going to need that sometime. Uh, look at here, I can play a little bit with this uh, numerator at the top of the fraction in this format, and I get x plus 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. The only reason I did this because you see this one is 1, so we have 1 over x plus 1 plus 1. Hey, now you can see this one as a reciprocal function which we have a transformation similar to the other one. 1 left, but 1 up, right? And let's see how the graph looks like. So I'm going to show you the graph right now which you can do it with a computer algebra system. And yeah, you notice horizontal asymptote of one, vertical asymptote of negative one, right? Because the denominator cannot be equal to zero. Uh, the interesting, the interesting graph will be the third one. Well, the third one, this one, right? Look at here what the third one is. It's a line, yeah, it's a line. If you take a look, x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 1. The numerator, the top of the fraction can be factored out. That will be x plus 1 times x plus 2. And uh, over x plus 1, we can simplify and we get just x plus 2. Yeah, this one is the equation y equals x plus 2, almost, but a missing spot, right? In that area where x is negative 1, we have a whole. That is something totally different than the other two graphs, right? And what about the last one? The last one, if you remember, we said the domain is all real number, right? Look at here how the graph looks like. Okay. A very interesting graph there. Are no holes, no asymptotes, no vertical asymptote. There is an horizontal asymptote. If you notice this one like this is the horizontal asymptote. We're going to talk about this uh, in a, another video. So basically, now in the next thing, I have a summary of these four graphs. And basically, that's the thing I would like you to remember from these video clips. There are rational functions that are continuous, like this one. There are rational functions that are discontinuous. So let's change the color. This continues, this one, this one, and this one. So all these three are discontinuous. Uh, this one is, uh, the red one is continuous. 
and there are two types of discontinuity removable and non removable let me show you what is the meaning i'm going to change again the color this is removable this is removable because we can remove this discontinuity by just saying f of x for example equals uh, 1 when x is equal negative 1 and that's and then the, the rest of the function here which uh, was that quotient uh, so this is removable however this one is non removable because we have a vertical asymptote we cannot remove that and this one also is non removable because we have a vertical asymptote uh, if you enjoy if you enjoy this video please don't forget to click don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on c squared for more math videos thank you